It's a gear tester here and I am in my tree blind. It's a tree house slash tree blind. We call it the sky box. It's eight feet by eight feet and it's quite high up here in some trees on one of my friend's property. So I'm working here getting this ready for deer season. We've been doing a little bit of hunting but we're trying to make sure that the deer don't see us in the evening. So I've got two different kinds of camouflage uh, fabric that I want to talk about here. So we've got this burlap fabric right here. And then we have this camouflage netting from Walmart that is here. I've got this other camouflage, what I would call camouflage netting, kind of like military netting that my friend purchased from Cabela's. And I'm not talking about that. So this, this I'm not talking about. When I'm talking about netting, I'm talking about this fabric here. And you can purchase it for about $12.00 from Walmart. You have a 12 foot by four and a half foot piece of fabric there. And, and both the burlap and the camo netting from Walmart come in that same dimension. I like the burlap. I have the burlap facing outwards, okay, like so, uh, because it camouflages the, the blind better, the treehouse better. And I've thrown some of this more expensive Cabela's netting down so that we are less likely to be backlit by kind of a white background right here. So I've, I've thrown down this brown netting because I didn't like how light the back portion of this material was, but I really like the front portion. You can see right there. This burlap is awesome and I would definitely recommend it for 10 bucks. You're getting 12 feet by four and a half feet piece of fabric. You get two of those, you can make yourself a really nice ground blind. So that, that is this camo burlap right there, and I would recommend that to you guys. I wish it was painted on both sides. It's heavier, okay? Same size, but it's heavier, and it's going to take up a lot more space as compared to this camo netting. But I've gone down on the ground, and I've looked up, and the burlap does a lot better job of concealing movement and my face and my body moving around here than this this camo netting stuff right here. I mean, it's just non-existent. If I put my hand on the other side, this would be great mosquito netting, I think. But if I put my hand on the other side, you can see me. And that's exactly what the deer looking up here into this treehouse would see. So I think I'm going to leave this uh, Cabela's camo netting up. And I think that actually breaks up my movements and conceals my movement better. What I'd imagine doing was concealing this entire area in dark fabric and basically blacking this entire blind out and that might still work and then using this sheer uh, camo netting from walmart to give me a shoot through area like people do like i see a lot of archers doing in their little tent blinds so this camo netting from walmart isn't breaking up my movements is not really hiding me but it feels like i have a barrier between me and my quarry. And I think that's actually increases the chances of me moving around uh, and doing things that might spook the animal. Having this makes you feel like there's a barrier between you and the deer or you and the turkeys. However, I really don't think it's breaking up how they would see movement or view me moving. And so I think it's actually a negative to have this up and feel like there's a barrier when there really isn't one. This burlap, on the other hand, really does create a nice barrier. And this is what it would be looking like Okay, from side, it really breaks things up. Okay, and I think it's a better option. So there you go, two ten dollar options. You've got the uh, camo netting, which I do not recommend, and you have the camo burlap from Walmart, which I do, and it's going to run you about twelve bucks. It's about a dollar a foot. That's pretty good.